Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today we can talk about running xamarin.ua test on a specific simulator. So let's get started. So far we executed all our tests on default Android emulator and iOS simulator. But there are times we would like to run our test on a specific device or simulator versions and types. This can be done with our xamarin.ui test using device identifier option of iOS configuration. So device identifier is once again a separate method which you can write to perform the identification of a specific device using its identifier. And it's going to look something like this. You can see that I have passed the device identifiers kind of grid ID, which is actually the device ID. And using this ID, you can identify the particular device. And then once you run the test, it is going to run a specific test using that particular specific device that you have specified within the particular configuration file. So this is greatly helpful because there are some situations where you might need to run your test on a specific browser or application, but for some reason the test won't execute. And the reason is because the test has to run on a specific device, which the test cannot able to run in that particular situation. So that's why this device identifier is very, very helpful. So how to identify a simulator ID? Well, this we can do using simulators UI or via the command line. So the command line option that I have specified down here, like XC run instruments hyphen S devices is going to list you all the devices which is available within your Mac operating system. Or you can also do that via the UI option where you can see there is something called as identifier over here that is going to be exactly the identifier that you can even get from the particular command line. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to our Visual Studio for Mac operating system. All right. So in our previous videos of this course, we ran our test on Mac operating system using the same framework that we wrote in our Windows operating system. And as you know that this is a unified framework where it runs on Android as well as iOS operating system in both Windows and Mac operating system. And today what we're going to do is we are going to execute the same test that we executed in our previous video on a specific simulator, something like this, the iPhone 10 that just released. And we were trying to run the particular test on this particular operating system and it was working pretty much fine, like as we were expecting. But today what I'm going to do is instead of running on this particular specific iPhone X operating system simulator, I am going to run this in a different simulator. Let's say my application is built in such a way that the developer told that it has to run on a specific simulator. Then what I can do is I can just go back to my uh, simulator over here, as you can see here, uh, you can choose the uh, device where it has to execute. Let's say the developer says that the application is built in such a way that it can run only in the iPhone 6S plus and on a specific operating system, something like iOS 10.3.1 just for example, I'm saying. So if that's the case, the first thing you need to do is to build the application and then you need to deploy the particular uh, application within your simulator. And you need to see that whether the particular application works as expected or not. Of course, it is going to work because your developer has already told you that it is gonna execute pretty fine in that particular specific operating system and in that particular specific device. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing like what developers do. So you can see that the application has been deployed in the uh, iOS uh, 10.6, as you can see, sorry, 10.3, as you can see, it's an iPhone 6S Plus, not in this guy, currently iPhone 10, which is 11.1. .1. I'm not going to run my test on this particular uh, simulator this time. I'm going to run in this particular simulator. So how do I locate my uh, simulator? Well. As I said before, it is very, very easy. All you can do is you can directly uh, go to the simulator's uh, uh, UI, and then you can choose something called as hardware devices, and there is something called as manage devices. So if you choose this manage devices, it is gonna open the Xcode, basically. You can see the Xcode has opened here. And then you can go to the simulators tab, and within the simulators tab, you can see that there are something called as identifiers for these different devices, which is available within your Mac operating system installed. So let me quickly expand this a little bit here so, to, so that I can give a little room. And you can see that for each and every device, there is an identifier pretty specific. They are not kind of duplicated here. So iPhone 7 has got this own identifier here. 
and iPhone 6s Plus, as we developer told, it has a specific identifier for 11.1, but for 6s Plus, for 10.3.1, there is one more identifier. So this identifier is what I'm kind of looking for. I'm gonna copy this, right? And as I said before, you can also do that in the command line using what is called as, I'm gonna go to the terminal here, and you can type this, xc run instruments hyphen s devices. So if you hit this, enter, it's gonna run a quick uh, query and it's gonna show you these are the kind of devices that you're looking for. And these are the devices which is actually installed within your Mac operating system. Again, this is gonna be exactly the same thing that you are actually seeing uh, in your uh, device UI, which is available in the Xcode, right? So I'm just changing the color so that I can show you that I'm actually working on a Mac operating systems, real MacBook Pro, touch bar enabled machine. All right, so just a fancy thing there. All right, so now I'm just gonna minimize this a little bit quickly and I have the ID right now. I'm gonna go over to my code here and then I'm just gonna type this dot, there is something called as device identifier. You can see that this particular device identifier is specific for the iOS app configuration. And it is used to configure the device uh, to use the device identifiers UUID. So I'm gonna choose this guy. And then I'm gonna paste uh, the identifier which I just saw there. I'm gonna save it. And now if I run my test, it is gonna run on that particular simulator. So if you don't believe me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit both of these simulators right now so that I don't really have to uh, really see like what's really gonna happen there. And then I'm gonna just run this particular test and see what's gonna happen. So if I run this particular test this time, it should execute, oops, I don't think it's an execute because I also have to change the app.configuration file uh, to point uh, to that particular AUT package name. So I actually deleted that. So I'm gonna delete this real quick and then I'm gonna come over here, com.company uh, name.xamarin app. I guess that's the package name, if I'm not wrong. And then I'm gonna execute that. Let's see what's gonna happen. Now it should spawn the uh, simulator here, which is gonna be our iPhone 6S Plus. There we go. You can see that it's iPhone 6S Plus and it is uh, of version 10.3, which is cool. So big to really adapt to my screen. All right, there we go. Now it's opening the application. Cool, that's it. Now we can see that we can run our test on a specific simulators instead of just the one which is available by default in the uh, X code, which is gonna execute the particular simulator, which is available like a latest version of simulators for you, right? So this is how you can run the test on a specific simulator and run your test without any problem, right? So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope we'll keep on adding new stuffs for Xamarin.UI test in our course. So stay tuned for more new videos. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.